Welcome to the St. Matthew Chapel at the Steyer Center for Executive Education. My name is Father Peter Rocca. I'm a Holy Cross priest and the rector of the Basilica of the Sacred Heart here on the campus of the University of Notre Dame. The beautiful stained glass windows that you see depicted in this chapel are meaningful both to the Mendoza College of Business and to the Friedheim family whose gift made this chapel possible. In the center window is St. Matthew, the patron saint of accountants. St. Cyrus and St. Marguerite Bourgeois are the patron saints of Cyrus and Mitzi Friedheim, and St. Stephen, the first martyr, and St. John the Evangelist represent the Friedheim's sons. St. Matthew is renowned for focusing on the human or grounded aspect of Jesus. So, one foot rests on a cold, hard stone, representing truth. His red cloak signifies his martyrdom. To the left of St. Matthew is St. Stephen, holding a martyr's palm with stones at his feet. He was stoned to death, so he too wears red as a symbol of his martyrdom. To the far left is St. Cyrus, holding a medical book because he was a physician. The staff means that he was a wanderer, a pilgrim, and at his feet are deadly nightshade, ground ivy, colt's foot, poppy, chickweed, St. John's wort, and hemlock, all medicinal plants. The panel to the right of St. Matthew is St. John, writing his gospel. The ferns in the foreground represent the island of Patmos, a place of exile where he wrote the book of Revelation. His green cloak represents the balance, sense of order and growth he achieved during his transformation on Patmos. To the far right is Saint Marguerite Bourgeois, the foundress of the Sisters of the Congregation of Notre Dame. She was born in France, symbolized with the French broom plant, and later moved to Montreal, Canada, which is symbolized with native Canadian burnet and prairie smoke plants and maple leaves in the background. Around each of the panels is a border based on John chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. The vine signifies the union between believers and Christ. The leaves represent their strong and lasting bond. The grapes indicate the fruitfulness of the faithful. And the mystical rose represents Our Lady, Notre Dame the perfect flower of God's spiritual creation. One more feature of this chapel visitors must discover for themselves. The artist who designed the intricate panes of glass always includes a special feature. In this instance, a tiny church mouse hidden in one of the panels. Look carefully, and even if you can't spot it, the beauty of the stained glass and the sacred peace of the chapel will make your search worthwhile. The St. Matthew's Chapel at the Steyer Center for Executive Education was made possible through a generous gift from Cyrus and Mitzi Friedheim. The stained glass windows were designed by Conrad Schmidt Studios out of New Berlin, Wisconsin.